Okay, so we've talked about a lot of 11 personnel. We've talked about 11 personnel with an attached, 11 personnel with an unattached or a Y off, uh, things that you, or formations and personnel groupings that you typically see RPO. Let's talk about 10 personnel. Now I'm talking true 10 personnel. Obviously, these formations can come at you still with 11 personnel on the field. Shoot, we played a team last year that 21 personnel was on the field and they lined up in 10 personnel formations. So I'm talking formationally here more than anything, okay? So when we get into 10 personnel formations, okay, we are now in seven man fits. You know, everything that we just watched was all eight man fits. All right, they've removed someone from the course, so, so have we obviously. Now we are in a seven man fit, okay? However, all right, we should have good uh, consistency in the concepts here. So here we go. All right, this is to duo, which if you're a 4 2 5, everyone's going to try to line you up in duo. Uh, take a defense that is a field defense that is not balanced and force you to balance up. Okay? So you will see a lot of this if, you, if you've never deployed a 4 2 5 before. All right, here we're going to have duo, which we call our 2 by 2 all right, removed, back to the field, which means our strong safety is going to be the pause player for RPO. Okay. Opposite of him would be our FPB buck backer. No pause for him. Force or bounce. Okay, it should be similar. All right, again, we can play these on you know, these uh, DNs on different concepts here. Whether we want to sit them or launch them, this is showing launch. All right, which would mean they're both B gap players. All right, now if you're to the back, you need to expect that there's a chance you're going to get veer. All right. All right, so these guys, when they launch, they'll launch through everything except for a veer release. A veer release, they'll, they'll squeeze and sit. Okay, so there's our fits on the perimeter with pause and force and bounce. Our launches with the DNs. Our A gaps are gone in there. All right, which leaves us our spill player. All right, when we are in a 10 personnel formation, we teach our eagle backer. All right, that now he is an umbrella spill player is what we call it. All right? It's an umbrella spill. Why do we call it that? Because there's nothing all right, here to here that he should have to play. Okay? Whereas when we're in 11 personnel and there's a tied and attached, there is an open A gap for him to play. So he's got to be more downhill conscious. All right, now it's, it's a concept that we're trying to tell him. Think of it like there's an umbrella here. And as far as the, uh, the shape of, of how an umbrella would look if you're holding it, all right, and you're an umbrella spill player, which means you're still inside out, you're still a spill player, but anything inside that umbrella is, should not be yours. All right? We should have someone on interior gaps taking that away. All right, just flip the duo to gun weak, all right, and all we got to do here is flip who's the pause player and who's thinking they're the force and bounce player. Okay, seven man.